Uh, well, as we get ready to open up uh, our indoor season um, this, this Saturday, you know we're extremely excited. Um, it's been almost a year, almost a calendar year since we wrapped things up last time. Um, so we're extremely excited that the athletes are, you know, chomping at the bits to get back out there and compete against another team. So we're excited to take on, you know, DePaul and, and Wabash this weekend. Yeah, preparation has been going really well. Um, obviously, the fall was a little challenging with, with a couple of letdowns of, of not having seasons and different things like that. Um, but overall, it's been pretty solid. Our kids have stayed pretty resilient over the course of the time. Um, but since since break, since uh, Christmas break, we've been really dialed in. You know, now just having that carrot in front of us to be able to compete this weekend. You know, so now the kids have really been dialed in. They're really excited to get ready to go this weekend. Uh, they've they've done a good job, you know, for the most part. Um, we're really excited. They their performances have been really good already. Uh, we had our inner squad meet uh, last week, and, and those marks uh, that they they performed last week would have been uh, you know top ten in the country. Um, so we're, we're really excited to see them open up this weekend and and, and put those kind of same performances you know on real on real paper. Um, so we're really excited. They've been done a good job of helping the, the underclassmen and just you know showing them the ropes and showing them you know how to work and, and get things done the right way. Uh, yes, uh, Zach has been tremendous. Uh, and that's a young man who's really grown o over the four years. Um, you know, his freshman year you know, to where he is now, you know, it's kind of night and day. He's done a great job of working hard and really just teaching the guys, you know, what it means to tiger up here, you know, what that grit and grind is and how to take, take on every day. Um, so he's done a really good job. Um, guys like Austin Albanese, you know, who had a kind of breakout year last year, you know, he's ready to, you know, finish his career off the right way. And, and those guys are looking, hopefully, you know, outdoors, maybe if we have a national championship, being able to, you know, get to that national championship level. So they've been really doing a good job of being, being good leaders. Um, same thing on the distance side, like Ryan Zimmerman, really doing a good job of, of teaching that young group of distance guys, you know, how to train and, and, um, and how to be resilient. Oh man, we're just we're looking to go out and have fun and compete hard, man. You know, like I said, it's been a long time since we actually really got to lace them up. So you know, we just going out there to have some fun. You know, show the, the hard training that we you know we've been doing over the course of almost a year now. Uh, just putting it on display and showing that you know we're still a team to be reckoned with. You know, in the, in the NCAC. Yeah, yeah, we uh, got a, a solid group of, of incoming freshmen um, that we you know we're just excited about. You know, throughout their course of their four years, hopefully here. Um, Matt Rogers is, is one of the young men, um, one of our short sprinters. He's from uh, Texas, he's done a really good job, you know, this, uh, this fall and, and winter time. Um, also, uh, you know, Matthew Drive, uh, Drovelick from uh, uh, Hilliard area, um, and obviously a couple other guys that I'm probably going to miss, but, you know, we've got a, a really good group, um, uh, um, Eli, Peter Kane, some, some of the guys. So we're just excited about all of them, to be honest, on the women's side, you know, uh, Corinne, one of our good distance women. She's battling a little bit of injuries, but we expect for her to have a good year. Um, Alana, um, Alana P, she's, you know, we're excited about her as well. So um, we're just really looking forward for that young group to continue to develop and grow. And hopefully when we get, by the time we get the outdoors, they're ready to, uh, to take on the challenges of getting ready for our NCAC championship. Uh, pretty much, again, we're just excited to really get things going and, you know, you know, taking it a step at a time. So, um, you know, we're excited. You know, my staff has done a really good job over the course of time keeping our kids motivated. So we're ready to go.